If I were giving advice to other districts about where to start in this work, the first thing I would say, and this was probably the most important thing, is that our Board of Education and our superintendent were not only aligned in an equity-driven approach to all means all, but when we were challenged, and believe me, we were challenged, we've been challenged for five years, board meetings, emails, pushback, they stayed the course. There was no, no amount of pressure took us away from what, we, what, our, what, our, what our biggest beliefs were, which was any student, anytime, anywhere could do anything if we created the right conditions for them. So I would say the first thing is, if you're gonna take this work on, you, you have to be ready for very interesting things to happen in the community. And I think San Di the San Diego community is absolutely amazing. We have such amazing business partners, we have amazing families, but what came out of the bottom of the ground through this effort was the question, can everyone learn? Can everyone do the same amount of work and does everyone have the ability to enter college? Because people didn't come to the board meetings and say, I don't think that people um, can learn the same rate and go to college. That's not how it came out. It would raise its, its face in, in things like, oh, these English learners need to be in newcomer centers because um, you know, they're first generation and you know, it came out in care, but these belief systems that we had about who could do what, and, and unfortunately, some of those things started to uh, line down race, ethnicity, like, and it wasn't um, racial per se, where this group can't do this and this group can, but it certainly was underneath because the, the kids who didn't have access to everything, the kids who didn't have the same opportunities, were very much not, they were, the ki they, were, they were kids that would be seen as our black and brown students. And so what was most important was our board stood their ground. Because I gotta tell you, my work would never have been possible if at every road that I came to, every change I tried to make, every system I tried to disrupt, every meeting I tried to have, if every one of those would have provoked some type of um, chaos at board meetings and the board didn't stay strong, we would not be sitting here right now. And they stayed strong, they set their vision, they supported us, they believed in us, they asked us to be transparent, and we were. They asked us to engage communities, and we did. Um, but I would say the first thing is you have to decide who you are and what you're willing to do to make this happen. Because I think the greatest thing about all of this is we are living proof that anybody can do anything, any student can do anything in the right conditions.